The WA Premier Roger Cook and Corrective Services Minister Paul Papalia have just held a press conference sharing uh, what they can about this incident at this stage. What is known is that at about two o'clock in the morning, uh, during a routine check, guards found a 16-year-old Indigenous boy unresponsive in his cell. Now, they immediately began resuscitation and uh, three ambulances attended. Uh, we're told that those guards were able to uh, regain gain a pulse and that boy was taken to Sir Charles Gardner Hospital in Perth where he remains in a critical condition. Now Corrective Services Minister Paul Papalia uh, commended the guards for uh, their response and we also heard from the Premier. Here's a little of what he had to say about this incident. This is an incredibly regrettable situation. It's deeply distressing and deeply saddening uh, but um, and the actual uh, events uh, are con continue to unfold, so we have limited information to provide to you at this early point in time. This took place inside Unit 18, which is part of Casuarina Men's Prison here in Perth. It's the main maximum security men's prison uh, in Western Australia, but a separate wing of it, Unit 18, has been converted to hold a number of juvenile detainees. Uh, that began happening about mid last year, following uh, a lengthy period with trouble at uh, the state's only juvenile detention centre, Bankshire Hill. So some of the detainees there, we're told the uh, most difficult detainees to uh, work with, have been housed here in Unit 18. Uh, since that period, uh, it's faced uh, widespread criticism from uh, various people in the sector, but uh, we're told that that's what happened has to be done at this stage to allow Bankshire Hill Detention Centre to uh, run as best it can. That facility has seen a number of uh, destructive incidents, including a major riot in May, which saw up to 25% of that uh, centre destroyed. Uh, so both the Premier and Corrective Services Minister acknowledging that uh, no one is happy with the situation as it is in youth detention, but they're doing what they can and uh, working to make conditions better and also there will be an inquiry into this incident.